hello everyone in this uh, video we will deploy our contact management system project we have completed contact management system project uh, using maran stack in two uh, parts let's check them okay in these two parts we have completed our contact management system project using maran stack now in this video we will deploy it to versal it means that the versal is a platform where we can deploy our static uh, projects uh, on versal so let's first of all open the versal Let's search the Versal. Open the Versal. Uh, on this Versal website, we will uh, deploy our project. So I have already created a, a, my account. If you didn't create, so please uh, create your account on Versal.com website. I have connected it with the um, GitHub also. So let's open my GitHub account. Yeah, we will deploy first of all. We will upload our projects uh, to GitHub. Then we will deploy it on Versal through github okay so let's so to upload our project yeah let's first of all open vs code editor and this is our project and it is running uh yeah here it is running let's move to login register we can do everything okay we have completed the project you can watch those two parts uh contact management system so just come here back to our vs code editor so first of all let's make some changes come here to the server side and come here to the index.js so package.json okay in the package.json what we should do so first of all let's change this node mount to node just node index.js okay in the start in our project we have installed node mount so we will um, change node mount to node index.js this is the first change that we have made and in the index uh, here in the cards we will add our front end url so we will add that later so first let's upload our project to github so to upload it let's come here to the github and here we will create a new repository so let's name it for example contact ms uh, we can name it like um, front end or client contact ms client make it public and create repository so to this repository we will upload our react app so let's move back to our um, terminal here in the vs code yeah let's just delete it and also delete this one so delete all these things and we will just take a new terminal and in this new terminal let's move cd to client after moving to the client so to upload our client uh, project so we will use git okay i have installed git on my pc if you don't know uh, how to uh, use git and how to upload project to github so i have uploaded previously a video okay how to upload project folder to github you can watch that video also just come here back and here first of all i will write git in it so it will initialize the uh, git on our um, project after that git add that what it will do it will add all the files okay to staging area press enter so all piles has been added to the staging area so let's see let's clear the screen now let's commit it okay git commit sm here we will just type a message for example first commit like name it first commit and press enter so we have committed cls clear the screen now we will just add the origin so to add the origin back him come here to the git uh, github so here we will just copy this line of code okay git uh, remote add origin and to this one copy this and paste it here what it will do and we will just add this origin okay it means that we will deploy to this origin our project to this origin github um, use of contact ms client press enter so after that we will push now git push origin master we will push to the master origin master branch it means this is master is branch and press enter so now it will upload our project our react app to contact ms um, repository let's wait for it yeah that has been uploaded let's come here to the github let's refresh it so see we have our react project this is our reactor now, now let's move back to our github account and we will create a new uh, repository and to that repository we will upload our node app our server side app let's press uh, new let's name it like contact ms api and create repository 
yeah our repository has been created now come here back to uh, vs code cls clear the screen and cd server we will now uh, move now to the our server now before uh yeah one thing i missed that is dot git ignore okay in dot git whenever we are uploading our project to github what we will we will use the dot git ignore file in this dot git ignore file i have specified these things okay logs it means remove all logs um, directories folders it means that don't upload logs folder to github repository and also those files which contains that log extension are these things okay don't upload these things and also don't upload node modules to github repository also dist dist srr static dot local it means that don't upload these things these things to uh, github repository now we will use the same git power our server side also let's copy the same file and paste it on server side project paste it here in the server let's close our client project and come here to the server side to dot git ignore let's uh, remove all these things because we don't uh, have these things in our project we don't have these things okay we have we would like to just remove we just want to not upload the node, node modules folder okay this folder where the dependencies has been existed we don't want to upload this folder to github repository and one thing else static dot env and we also don't want to upload our dot env file okay because there is essential or secret things like api keys and some uh, other DP, database connection url and we don't want to upload the .env file also which is existed in config so we don't want just to upload these two things to github repository now come here back to the terminal in the server side let's write git in it we will initialize git and after that let's git add dot it means add all the um, files to staging area and after that commit git commit let's message first commit press enter clear the screen so now let's add to the, uh, the origin so just come here let's copy this line of code and paste it here and press enter after adding let's push it git push origin uh, master press enter now it will upload our server side app to the uh, github repository let's check it now let's refresh it so this is our server side app we which we have upload uploaded to github repository so after uploading the project project now let's configure our database we will use mongodb atlas okay the cloud of mongodb let's move to the cloud.mongodb.com so you have you should create your account in uh, mongodb after creating your account in mongodb in this atlas okay in this website so now let's create i will just create a new project for you to learn um, everything from scratch just come here to the top and here we will press this press uh, plus new project i will create a new project now i will show you everything from start let's assign a name to our project contact ms and yeah press next and create project press this button so it will create our project so after creating the um, project now let's create a database okay come here to the database on the sidebar let's press this build a database so let's press this one the free one we would like to use the free one and after that let's name assign a name like contact ms and here we will just select mumbai let's come here we will find mumbai and after that yeah that is okay let's press create deployment yeah this is let's assign username okay so let's name it cwy code with yusuf and also a password like contact contact or we can use this one okay let's use test one two three this password okay let's store it inside 
I just let's close it and just come here we will I will just use CWY this is username and test one two three is the password so let's um yeah that is okay create database user press this button so it will create this user and let's please choose a connection method so how you would like to connect with this database so we would like to connect with uh, to our application okay through drivers okay select this first option yeah node.js just come here down so this is the connection string that we will use copy this connection string and let's paste it here so this is our connection string okay cwy is the user test 123 is the password and this is everything that we have Mm, that is okay okay done let's close it close it and close it yeah this is deploying our data let's wait for it so now let's move to browse yeah let's move to the browse collection yeah come here to the database we have created a database so yeah it is loading yeah it is ready right now so just come here down to the network axis okay come here to the network axis so here it is our uh, right now it is our uh, ip address but sometimes uh, whenever you are pacing with an error so let's add another ip address okay press this add ip address so here we will add 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 it means that every ip address can access this um database confirm it so it it will become active right now so that is active let's move back to our database so everything is okay so we have configured our database now we will use it so that is okay let's move now to just come here to the versal and to the versal now we will upload our um, two project to repo github repository that we have uploaded just come here to the versal and let's import it okay from git okay let's press this import or here add new okay project so we will import it from git repository whenever you come here to this um, page so if you didn't see um, the repository that you have been created right now so you can allow okay here you will just uh, allow your github to access uh, yeah you will allow versal to access all your github repository i have allowed that okay so right now these are two um, uh, repository that i have created first of all we will upload the client side okay contact ms client let's import it so after importing it yeah this is the name of our um, project like contact ms uh, client okay we will leave it like this and here we will select in prim uh, primor, uh, framework with because we have created our react uh, using wit and this is let's come here to the build and output so here let's overwrite here we will write npm uh, run build yeah m run build and dist and here we will just use um instead of all these things npm install environment variable we don't have any environment variable in our front end app let's press deploy button so we will deploy our react app so it is deploying let's wait for it so our project has been deployed so let's wait it is refreshing now our page yeah congratulations it will automatically come okay whenever it deploy it will automatically come to this page yeah let's wait for it it is loading so this is our project okay so let's press this so we will move now and run our contact ms client app so this is our client side project let's press login register so everything is okay so this is our let's move continue continue to dashboard this was our client project uh, client side app that we have uploaded now let's go back come here to the projects we will upload our server side app also 
yeah let's press add new project yeah here now we will upload our api contact ms api let's press import so the name is okay contact ms api here in the framework we will select other everything we will leave uh, yeah everything is okay just press now we will press yeah but we will add now environment variables here okay because we have environment variable in our server side app so let's first of all uri this is our um, mongodb url so here we will just now um, paste this in the video we will paste this url that we have copied from our mongodb database so here we will add the database name okay so to add if you don't add the database name by default it will add test db but we will change the name to contact ms so here just come here to the not part here be, uh, before this question mark okay mongodb.net slash before this question mark here we will add our database name let's name it contact ms press add and let's add now port i think we don't need port but let's add it okay just we don't need port okay just come here and here we will add gwt secret key this is the secret key that we will use for gwt okay json web token let's copy the value of that Control c but this should be um, a secure key at least 32 character or longer from 32 character and no one should know about this secret key I have just showed you for example let's add it so after adding environment variable let's deploy it so it is deploying so it is deploying let's wait for it so after deployment so it will automatically come to this page again yeah so uh, it means we have deployed our project but we faced with an error let's move to the error what is the error so i will show you now how to solve the error let's move to check the logs we will check the logs what is the error we will see the error there let's move here to the logs after coming to the logs let's for example press this error so it says user.js imported cannot find module user.js imported from my user controller yeah it means that the error is in user.js let's move to our code and come here to the controller to the user controller we will make it this is a um, case sensitive okay the user let's come here this is capital user we will change this u to capital let's change it to capital u this is the first change that we have ma made let's come here to middleware also in middleware verify user here again we will change this u to user let's save it so after saving it these are two changes that we have made now come here back to index.js here we will make some changes also in cars because if we don't make these changes it will throw an error let's curly braces inside this curly braces first of all origin our origin is here we will paste now the url of our front end let's move to our front end up where was our yeah this is our front end um, url front end up url let's copy that and paste it here this is our front end url okay contact ms client dot versal dot up comma um here uh, methods which methods we will use we will use um git post put and delete method and the last one is credentials so after making these changes now we will just commit it okay we will push it back to our repository so to push it let's come here to the server we will just git add dot and press enter uh, git commit changes file changes like this is a message press enter let's push it get push origin uh, master press enter so it will push all changes to our github repository now let's reload it back okay let's reload it come here to versal 
uh, let's move to the dashboard here this is first commit let's refresh it to uh, see our last commit to change whenever yeah file changes okay it means that the this project has been refreshed now let's press it what happened now let's move to that okay production deployment if there was any error we will see that on the screen so it means there is no error let's move to this url so it cannot get slash it means there is no error right now so after um, it means that there is no error now we will check our um, uh, application is it working or not so let's move to our front end app okay this is our front end let's refresh it once so after refreshing let's log to the login page first of all i will just enter we don't have any record in our database okay right now we don't have any database any collection any table so first of all i will try what is the message okay let's i will write something like you support gmail.com it should display the error to us like this is the message let's press login button what happened <clears throat> let's move to the console so in the console it says uh, oh yeah one thing else that we missed that is that we should make changes in our front end code also so we should copy our server side this url copy this url and we will use instead of localhost now we will use this url let's move to our code to our front end code okay let's drag it down come here to client side up src First of all, come here to the app.jsx because we before we were using locally, so instead of this local host, now we will use that code. Okay, that URL. Let's paste it. See, uh, contact ms api .app. Save it. Wherever we have used the local host, we will replace that by this code. I will replace in all files. So I have made changes in all files. After that, let's commit it and we will push it to the repository. We are in server side. Let's move client uh, git add dot we will add all <coughs> and after that git commit file uh, server path changed and after that let's push it git push origin master yeah that is okay that has been pushed let's come here back to our front end yeah this is first commit let's let's re refresh it to change the message refresh it once again uh file changes yeah this is first commit yeah here it means that is okay let's refresh it once again so server path change that is okay uh now let's refresh it okay let's refresh it uh 404 code not found let's close it let's now press this so that is okay let's come here to the login and let's check it now dot com same thing like this so now we should see c password length must be 5 to 30 let's write for example 5 to 30 let's log in so it will say unauthorized c user not registered with us so now let's register we will create a, an account Never. Yeah, let's um, create an account we will just insert this one one two three four five six let's press register button see account created successfully and we come directly to the login so now let's move to our database we have that let's move browse collection we will just browse the collection we have our database our collection or not see contact ms in contact ms we have users just come here to the users and inside the users we have our first record this is our first record that we have registered in contacts right now we don't have any contacts later we will create contacts okay we don't have any contacts so let's move back here to the let's close it and also close it come here and we will log in now t1 at gmail.com press login see we log in successfully and we don't have any contacts right now for this user 
Parkalin. So let's press add contact. We will add a new contact for this user. So let's press add. See, contact added successfully. So we have our first record. So it is how it is working. Okay, we have uh, deployed our um, uh, contact management system project if you would like to log out now from the system so let's press exit yes i want so we log out from the system we can uh, log in or register another account also so we have explained the contact management system in our when we were, we were deploying it okay we were creating it so we have explained all the steps how it works and what we will do and which step which logic we will implement inside this project we have explained at that time but now we have just deployed our project to Versal and you see the result that we have deployed our uh modern stack up to Versal. so i hope you learned something from this video if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and also like the video and comment down thanks for watching